Hello everyone, it's Constance. So on top of everything that I'm going to discuss in this video, I also have a cold sore, which makes me feel really attractive. So I'm not wearing a lot of makeup today, so you'll have to forgive me. About a month ago, I went into my uh, primary care physician's office for a sinus infection, and I was prescribed amoxicillin to take care of that. And uh, shortly after that cycle ran out, uh, my stomach was getting a little bit wonky. And I'm not in the habit of talking about bathroom behaviors. Um, so I'm going to try to make this um, as subtle as possible. But trips to the bathroom were becoming a little bit more frequent and... Um, very, very unpleasant, mind you. And so as time went on, time went on, it didn't really seem to be getting any better. And eventually Derek was just like, you know, it's been like over a couple of weeks, you need to go see the doctor. So I was just like, oh, well, okay, yeah, whatever. And eventually it got to the point where I I uh, started feeling really weak and lightheaded, and I was having convulsions. And so it was time to go to the ER. And so I go to the ER, and um, it was actually, well, actually, no, take that back. Went to urgent care first. And urgent care was just like, yeah, we don't know what to tell you. You're going to have to go to the ER. So we went to the ER. And it was pretty much almost like, well, we got right in based on a referral. So um, got in, did a stool sample. And at the end of the stay, um, it was that I was diagnosed with something called C. diff, which I had never heard of before in my entire life. C. diff. C. period. D. I. F. F. Yeah. So apparently it's an infection in your colon and it can be caused by many different things, but one of them is antibiotics. I know people are going to laugh the way I say antibiotics, but <laughs> it's been a running gag in my household. So, um, so yeah, um, so I was in and out of the hospital or the ER actually quite a bit because it got progressively worse before it was getting better. And so now I'm on a different antibiotic and, um, and things are improving. Um, however, in the future, if ever I need to be on an antibiotic, the chances of me getting C. diff again are pretty good. And this is not something I want again. So, I mean, What's the lesser of two evils, some other sinus infection or C. diff? <laughs> lesser of two evils is sinus infection. <laughs> so if you don't know what C. diff is, um, or if you want to know more about it, if you've never heard of it like I haven't, um, check it out because it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty awful. And it can be really, really bad for some people. Um, there's uh, somebody in my extended family who had it and had to go to some pretty lengthy measures to get it corrected. 
and, and I'm talking lengthy measures, like most people couldn't afford to get done what this person got done. And that's kind of freaky because, I mean, who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? I'm just still floored because, like I said, I had never heard of it. And now I'm faced with it. And thankfully it's getting better, but it doesn't mean it's going to stay that way. I hope it does. Keep your fingers crossed for me, please. So, that is going to do it for this episode. Um... If you have any experiences with C. diff and you would like to share them, you can in the comments below. Um, I just try to ask that you be discreet about your discussion. Um, just because toilet talk is not one of my favorite subjects and I don't think it really should be blatantly discussed in a public forum. So, thank you so much for watching yet again, and love and light to you all.